Hello and welcome to another Autodesk alias quick tip video. My name is Johan Wendersten and today I will show you how to get single key hotkeys to work in alias. We all have places to be, so let's begin. Because if you watched any of my previous videos, you have for sure heard me going on and on about pressing for example the W, E and R key to access the move, rotate and scale to respectively. And you may have tried it on your own only to find that it doesn't work. So why is that? Well, let me demonstrate by trying to move this cube. So if I use pick object to first select the cube, and then I try to press the W key to access the move tool, but nothing happens. So I try pressing the key once again, this time even harder, but still nothing happens. Let me share a secret with you. It has nothing to do with how hard you press the key. Instead, there is a setting which you have to enable. And that setting can be found under Preferences and Interface. And here you have it. It's called Toggle Single Hotkeys. So if you click this menu item to enable it, and then once again try pressing the W key on your keyboard, you'll find that this time it actually works and you're able to access the Move tool. With which you can move the cube around as your heart desires. Just like this. It is worth mentioning that you can also change this setting through the shelf button over here, if you would prefer that instead. And lastly, at least if you ask me, single hotkeys enabled should be the default setting in Alias. So if any developers out there are watching this, please consider changing it. In the meantime, I guess we just have to do with making this change on our own, but now we at least know how to do it. With that said, we have reached the conclusion of this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.